Obi makes personal academic record public. Names Soludo MFL others as schoolmates. <laughs> Are we? So this issue of certificate saga from Tinubu is generating a lot of dust now. Um, now people are compelled, especially people in public offices now, are compelled to show the academic records, academic history for verification. This shows the failure of INEC. If INEC could not verify things before approving and confirming eligibility of any candidate for election, then that means INEC is a failed institution, I must say it. Okay, so with the way things are, Atiku has provided his certificates and made it public. Peter B has also come out now with his certificates from primary school and made it public with a history, historical account during the press conference. Tinubu is not able to give press conference. He's not able to provide his own record. He, cannot, he could not even speak to his own record. And that is where the problem is now. So, <laughs> so with the recent uh, press conference that Peter Obi held, uh, he made his academic history and uh, 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 certificates public for everyone to go and verify. You know, Peter Obi, once he finished speaking, he said, go and verify. They are there. <laughs> so let's dive into the details and see what uh, he's saying. Abuja, at Abuja, the candidate of the Labour Party, in the 2023 presidential election, Mr. Peter Obi has again made public his academic records, saying that for him to have vied for the number for the number one position in the country, his records were not more private. Hmm. Were no more private, yes. So Obi, who made the declaration on Wednesday in Abuja while fielding questions from newsmen at a World Press Conference, disclosed that his native name was Ongo Boase which means death cannot claim him. Hmm. Hmm. So death is a lie. Hey. Oh boy. So he said he did not like bearing the name, but preferred to be called Peter and by his confirmation name Gregory as a Catholic uh, faithful. So he said some of his schoolmates were the uh, current governor of Anambra State, Charles Soludo, and the uh, immediate past governor of Central Bank of Nigeria, Godin Mefiele, the current vice chancellor of University of Nigeria and Soka, among others who entered the school same year and graduated with him the same year. I will not just start by giving you my academic record. I will start by introducing myself. My given name at birth by my parents is Peter Ongubo Asiobi. That was what my parents gave me at birth. I don't answer my Igbo and middle name okay what it means is that i cannot die so i choose not to answer it but it was my father that gave me that uh, name my name is peter Ongubasiobi. i'm a catholic and my confirmation's name was gregory so you will see me write peter gregory obi hmm. i started my primary school at santa onisha before the war and after the war we came back and I went to a primary school called Holy Trinity Onisha. I was there for a few years when my auntie, who was a principal at a place called Omoba, Annam Primary School, took me because she wanted to live with me. From there, I passed common entrance to go into Christ the King College. I was in Christ the King College from September 1973 to 1978. Then I went to University of Nigeria and Soka from 1980 to 1984. Okay, read philosophy, had a BA, second class in philosophy. Thereafter, I have been to so many other institutions for training, which uh, I will show you before you leave now. I can claim to be an alumnus of some of those schools I went for training, which include Lagos Business School, Kellogg Graduate School, Oxford University, State Business School in Oxford, Cambridge, amongst others. These are no longer private to me. Everything I read or programs I participated in were documented. When I give you my CV, wherever I write any, I can show you what I did there and they are open for verification. It's no longer a private thing, he said. <laughs> Peter will be. 
So the truth is that people are speaking to their own document by themselves. If you know you acquired it, you can speak to your document by yourself. You can speak to your education and your life history and philosophy, sorry, biography by yourself. That is it. So why uh, now Atiku has done his own, uh, Peter B has done his own, and these are the two key contestants challenging Tinubu's victory. Okay, now Tinubu has not been able to speak to his own by himself. He's either using his spokesman or uh, special assistant or media AD or speaking through his lawyers. He cannot feel the question directly, pick microphone and talk to the public by yourself. Mm -mm. Okay. Now, wow, well, this is a very serious situation of finding ourselves. And there are a few comments here. Somebody said, when you shy away from the reality and portray sentiment in everything um, we do, then we will never get it right. If a fraud is committed and there is jurisdiction over it, then this country can never go forward. One thing before another. <laughs> Nana, wow. Eh? As clean as crystal. That is Peter will be for you. <laughs> That's what he said. So these stupid Agbadorians, the self acclaimed first class Chicago people made us believe that Peter B had a pass, not even third class. Can you imagine? So, can Tinubu tell us his parents, his date of birth, the primary school uh, and secondary school he attended, and his classmates? Let's not talk about CSU. <laughs> nah, this one gets us a bill. Even if Obi had PhD with Harvard. Nigerians will never vote him, Jagaban forever. These are the people they have come. Eh? They have come. They some time say, Who is Nigeria? Bro, talk for yourself. I'll be suffering and smiling forever. That is where the problem is. The people that are supporting evil are even suffering, but they just keep pretending like it is well. Meanwhile, it is not well with them. God will punish you for mentioning MFLA as one of your classmates. No wonder you use the MFLA to make sure that cashless policy occurred before the election. Can you imagine? So so this one is insulting uh, Peter Obi now. Eh? Why would you say that? Eh? These are these are these are people that are you know that have shared their conscience with hot iron. They don't care what happens to to other people. That's bad. Somebody say you are useless, okay they, they are even they are even replying him now for insulting Peter B. That is it. It's quite unfortunate. Some of us say, we spent eight years. Okay, oh, no wahala. Now he's still talking, but no wahala. Say everybody go to, everybody go chop from the porridge when I tell you they cook now. This is the reason why I have followed Peter B right from his days as governor and remain as constant as the Northern Star and had never disappointed me. Abi? <laughs> Ongwa maize. That is it. Okay, that is why MFL is working. Introduce cashless policy because of Jagaban. You will soon join the MFLA at Kuji. Can you imagine? Look at what these people are saying. Don't deviate. Can your crime master, Milo Khan, Nigerian presidency, is my turn by fire by force, give the same elaborate account of his profile and academic record? This is just what POB and other meaningful Nigerians want him to do. How can Tinubu hold an office as public as that of the presidency and still claims that his academic records are private to him? All of you supporters of this man called Tinubu, when the time comes, you will all know that you have sent him to his early destruction. <laughs> ah, now wow. Somebody say you don't go to court or struggle to defend the truth. Abi, you will see it directly. So that is what is happening. Peter B has just made his credentials public and has asked the public to go and verify they are there. And people are challenging uh, APC and their candidates to also do the same if they know that their hands are clean. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment.